Ah, so today we're going to look at senior U.S. officials making a surprise visit to Mexico on Tuesday to discuss bilateral cooperation on reducing illegal migrants crossing into the U.S. in record numbers. And the wicked wench of the White House, Kamala Harris, unsurprisingly is absent, relegated to phone duties, which is White House speak for sit down and shut the hell up, because it turns out her saying don't come had nothing to do with the border. Anyway... But meeting with National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan, who is seemingly advising the security to take five and fuck off because there is no damn border. It's porous, virtually non-existent. There's what, pushing for more than two million people just this year? And do they need a vaccine? Nope. Regular citizens are subjected to mandates terrorized by the state. But the illegals have more freedom than the damn citizens, which should tell you about the administration, who have their legions of lackeys in the corporate press like Reich trying to inject racism into the issue like the plebs that they are. The delegation agreed to expand cooperation in order to manage orderly, safe, and regular migration flows with respect for the human rights of migrants and asylum seekers the Mexican foreign ministry declared in a statement following the meeting. Regular migration flow. There's no enforcement of any border laws in that entire statement, is there? That's literally just facilitating the mass movement of humans. And then you've got this shit with Harris, this addressing the reasons for migration, which is nothing but window dressing for heaven's sake. This is a textbook example of the BS vagary used by politicians to give the impression they're doing something. The issues of South America is a complex web of narcotics, gangs, lawless state corruption. Does anyone think this woman has the political savvy, the skill set, the cojones, hell even the desire to tackle any of those issues, never mind how? You must be kidding me. If saying don't come isn't gonna stop anyone, what else is she gonna do? What the hell has she done ever since this farce of an administration took the reins? Oh, those big 12 corporations in her office are going to help tackle the issue, are they? She can't even talk without cackling like a madwoman. She is grossly incompetent and corrupt and comes off as deeply unlikable. This is why she dropped out of the primaries before her own state even had a say in the matter. It's no wonder she got her career success by being on her knees. Moving on, White House officials underscored the importance of fostering development in southern Mexico and Central America to address the root causes of irregular migration and will work toward deeper collaboration within the root causes strategy crafted by the vice president. Uh, they discussed current irregular migration flows and committed to jointly manage safe, orderly migration that respects human rights. Basically flood the border. And they want the sick people, they want to take the sick people and send them to the lowest COVID number states, inflate the numbers, and then use all of that influence of the press to scare the hell out of people, saying COVID is on the rise, mask up, get in your bunkers, the world is ending, ah, that's their end goal. And it turns out the State Department is funding this entire operation, as outsiders would enter South America through Venezuela, from there... They'd sneak into Colombia and cross a lawless, dense jungle territory known as the Darien Gap to get into Panama. Not exactly a female-friendly environment, what with smugglers about, if you catch my drift, through Costa Rica, and then further north through Mexico to get to the U.S. border, which Biden has declared is open season. Which, again, is exactly what Florida's Governor Ron DeSantis said. And that's all for today. Until next time.